Are these the heart of your next great soundbar? Let me tell you all about it. Dave Taylor here and I want to talk about soundbars. I want to talk about TVs and soundbars because I want to tell you that if you're using the built-in speakers on your TV, I don't care how fancy your TV is, you're not getting great sound. The reality is that even with the nicest televisions in the market, you really need to upgrade and get a sound bar. That gives you that full 5.1 experience. So you get a center channel, you get left and right front, and you get back channels and you get a subwoofer. That's what all these pieces are. And this is the Vizio, brand new for 2017, Vizio SB3651 E6. Super friendly name, right? Whatever. The name, just make sure you get the right one. This is a 36 inch 5.1 SmartCast soundbar. So let me give you a quick tour of the pieces. This is the heart of it. This is actually the soundbar that sits just under your TV. You can wall mount it if you want to. And let me spin it around and on the back, and I'll give you some close-ups, but on the back is all the different input ports. So it turns out that on this soundbar, let me turn it around again, on the soundbar you have HDMI in and out, so you can just daisy chain it to your TV if you want. You have RCA, optical, AUX, you can literally plug in your iPhone or something if you want here. Um, there's better ways to do that, we'll get back to that. Ethernet, so if you can go directly online if you want and USB. And you'll notice there are stealthy cats in the background that have nothing to do with my soundbar, but that's okay. So this is sort of the heart of it all. And then there's a wireless connection that gets you to the subwoofer. That's this guy. And uh, Vizio has come a long way with making their subwoofers sound great, but not be quite so big as they used to be. This is not my first Vizio soundbar. This one actually, generally you just sort of hide these somewhere in the room. I put this behind my couch and you can see there's some various inputs on the front and such, but mostly the point of this is that you plug it in to these, which are the little satellite speakers which you put behind you. So now imagine when you're watching a TV show or a movie or something, then you have sound in front of you, three different speakers, and you have sound behind you, and you have the subwoofer giving you that great rumble. And this subwoofer goes down to 20 hertz, so it can probably get lower than you can hear. So, great effects. Now, comes with one more piece, along with a boatload of cables. That one more piece is this remote, but you know what? This remote, you don't really need to use because Vizio has something called their SmartCast app. This is for Android or iOS, and using that, you get way more controls. So, for example, it's much easier in the app on my iPhone for me to connect to the soundbar and tweak how much I want the treble or the bass or how much I want the subwoofer. So all of those controls are great because it can really help you fine tune your audio experience. But it does come with the remote and you can use this if you're so inclined. Now, it also, the, like the key super great things about this is number one, it has Bluetooth. So I use this not infrequently just to like connect with my computer or something. And then I can be watching a video on my computer from YouTube and I can actually be using the soundbar for the sound. But where it gets even more cool is it also has built-in Chromecast. So it works great with any apps, any devices, anything that works with Google Chromecast. So for example, your Google Home. So you can actually have your Google Home send audio directly to the soundbar once you get it all configured correctly. So that's super cool. And I actually use it a lot that way. So I'll just grab my phone, I'll go into Spotify or something, and then I'll cast it to the soundbar. And then I have this nice enveloping sound throughout the room. It's very nice. So comes with DTS and Dolby support, which is important. Um, the bass goes down to 20 hertz. The volume goes up to 101 decibels it gets pretty loud, probably louder than you're gonna be comfortable with. Um, works with Google Home, all of this, the, you know, these connect via wires, but there's no wire that you have to get the subwoofer connected to the sound bar. So that's nice because I don't really want a big mess everywhere. Um, the cables, it comes with a, just a box of cables, including HDMI, optical, coaxial, RCA, a 3.5 to 3.5 millimeter AUX, 
and an RCA to AUX. So there's lots of ways you can put all these pieces together. But what I really want to do is I really want to give you the experience of hearing this. So give me a minute, let me get everything all back connected together, and then we'll send some music to it. And as best we can, we'll be able to check out what it sounds like. So just a sec. All right, I have it all set up. The problem is I can't really show you much television because I don't have license rights for read broadcast. But let's go ahead and start out, and I'm just going to use the soundbar for music by pushing play on my phone. And as my daughter would say, oh, dad, there's so much bass. It sounds awesome. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if she would use the word awesome. But let's go ahead and pause that because I am using that through Chromecast, which is super easy. And instead, I'm going to just switch inputs and we're going to get back to the TV. And this is what we recognize as standard rhythm. So we're actually <laughs> watching Torchwood, though I'm not showing you Torchwood. And I'm talking over this. But suffice to say that the sound you get out of TV shows, particularly if you really crank the volume, is pretty fantastic because it's all around you. And I really like that. Before we go back on camera, I want to point out that the soundbar itself has a bunch of buttons on the top, as you can see in this close-up. So you can control it directly from the bar or with the Vizio remote or with the app. So there are lots of different ways that you can interact with this system. But let's go back to me being on camera. So you can see why I like it so much. It's really just a great addition to my audio visual system because I want to be able to have a really great experience with my Vizio TV actually, so they work well together. But I also want to be able to have good audio. I want to be able to listen to music and when I'm watching movies or anything, I want to really have that experience of sound happening all around me, not just all coming from that front speaker. And the soundbar does a you know, fantastic job, really terrific. And what's great about it is it's actually at quite a reasonable price. So this setup, with everything we've talked about, including all the Chromecast support and everything, this is a $249 soundbar you can pick up directly from Vizio.com. So again, it's the SB3651E6. And that's important because you don't want to pick up last year's model because, hey, latest, newest, greatest, all that jazz. So, this is Dave Taylor. I'm getting back to my music, actually, so I'll catch you in my next video.